Yeah. Working for a better tomorrow isn't just a one-time thing. The tomorrows keep coming. I would keep fighting for the future we want. Well, it's time for me to bid you adieu. By your leave, I, Elizabeth, I... <gasps> Are you alright? You shouldn't force yourself to move. You are very kind. We've only just met, and yet you are worried about a machine like myself. Huh? Isn't that normal? Seeing you smile like that, I don't know. I just can't think of you as a machine. You have a heart, right? Then it doesn't matter whether you're man or machine. You have defeated me in single combat. That will make it difficult for me to continue forward. But I believe I can trust you. Will you listen to my mission directive? So, there's another girl robot with a heart like you, and she's the cause of all this? We came to this world to retrieve her. My older sister, the fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon, Labris, is in this world somewhere. Tell me more about Labrys, and I'll do what I can to help you get her back. Unfortunately... So you don't know what she looks like, what she can do, or what equipment she's loaded with. Is there a possibility that she looks, well, more human than you? You mentioned earlier that she was your older sister, so I assume she was built before you, but... My sister was an older model, a prototype for the fifth generation to be exact. It's doubtful that she would look more human than myself. All right, in any case, I'll keep an eye out for her. But right now, I'm heading to the announcement room. If Labrys is the cause of this, then I'm bound to meet up with her eventually.
Thank you. I will trust my sister's fate to you. Make them pay. Someone here again? It seems my sister has caused you some trouble. Though this may mean that I'm not the only one who is drawn to the light of your potential. You have gained a new resolve by overcoming many doubts and falsehoods. You have reached the threshold of truth, but man's hearts are mutable. That is why a resolve to continue fighting is more important than any one victory or defeat. Yeah, I understand. But this will be a difficult battle without end. Are you equal to the challenge? If I have my friends, if I'm not alone, I can do it. I see. I have heard your answer, but it's not enough. Remember what I told you before? The heart is shaken more by a single action than by a thousand words.
you're finally here. Hello, Sensei. Congratulations! How does it feel to have won the P1 Grand Prix? You are, Senpai! You're late! Teddy, where's Nanako? Nana-chan's right here. See? Nanako! John's not there! Oh, so close! Just a little more and Sensei would have been a goner! You bastard! So he's not actually taking on other forms? No, he's just distorting the things you see in here. <laughs> it's hard for me to show someone who isn't here. But you actually saw this Nanako girl? You're no hopeless.
I am a shadow. The true self. That's... my face. How about it? You wanted to see what I am, didn't you? Why... why does she look like me? That's its true form. That thing is your shadow. This is a shadow? She really came from inside me? Labrys, don't look away. If you don't accept her, she'll get even stronger. I don't know what your past was like. It must have had some painful memories. But you have us with you now. We're going to get you out of here. Take a look at what you really are! 